so Spencer, how you doing? Good about yourself. I'm good. Um, I got you a couple things here to try tonight. <laughs> We're sitting here watching um, Tig, Tig, N N how do you pronounce her last name? Nataro. Tig Nataro on Amazon Prime doing a comedy show called Hello Again. But uh, there you go, Spencer. You haven't got to try. Yeah, I the saw purple it. nurple. I call. I commented on it because I was like, that is quite the color. Yes. This is from Ology Brewing. I've done it on my TikTok page. It's a king. It king, legitimately king. smells like cake. Yeah, king cream cake. Because they have their own distillery there in Tallahassee, Florida, Ology Brewing. But uh, I, I I say it's like uh, the Grimace drinking a, a Grimace milkshake because of the beautiful color purple there. But yeah, I find it very much like a. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the McRib is back on the menu. What? Okay, sorry. No, it's okay. The support staff is wanting to try our drinks. Support staff. Like we got a bunch of bras laying around <laughs> here. They support us. <laughs> our saggy titties. Are you complaining about my moobs, sir? I don't complain. <laughs> that is dangerous. I don't know if I need to mix it with anything or not. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's. I think the only thing, maybe a tiny bit of like whipped cream on top. Of me? <laughs> wow. And I also got this. This was, they didn't have this on tap, but you know I like my saisons. Oh, yeah. You said this was Memphis? No, this no. is Tallahassee. Tallahassee, that's right, that's right. This is far exceeding proof brewing out of Tallahassee, in my opinion. Punch and blend. Yes. Because they have a restaurant that makes really good food. They have a distillery. They have a coffee shop. Poured it in the wrong one. That's what you get for getting cheap labor. <laughs> this is a Saison they had there too. I got a couple of the others. Maybe you'll try later. We'll see. But I love, always love a. A nice color of it. Saison. And the smell. It is a lot. Mm. Probably like a fire. Oh. I think it's a seven. Seven, yes. It is seven percent. That is good. So I was telling you, uh, even if you just look it up on um, YouTube, you need to watch some of the, the clips of... Tig Notaro on uh, Star Trek Discovery. Okay. What season did she come on? Um, I'm in season two. That's what I just wondered. Yeah, I think it's. I think it is season two. Okay. Because it's, if I remember correctly, it's just a random. They like they go to an asteroid. There's like a distress call. They show up, and she's the only person that's up and about. There's some other people that are injured or whatever, and uh, they rescue her, and she ends up. It's really weird because, you, you know, they have the Stamets dude and he's like the chief engineer. Yeah. But he works on that, their spore drive or whatever. She's like their everything else engineer at the, after that point. Okay. And it's, anytime she comes on, she's just a smart ass and she's just dry humor and I love it. I love dry humor, period. Yeah. So, yeah, my wife was like, I don't know if you like her. I was like, yeah, I like her. I never have a problem with her. Because I love dry humor. It's a, it's a British thing. Mm. But uh, we'll get back. Uh, we're going to continue to watch this and he can give the support crew a, a drink of the purple grimace. <laughs> right now it's an assignment. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give a man a whole beer and he'll want a half. Sweet Jesus. What do we got, Spencer? We got a uh, dead garnet. Cranberry, raspberry, lime, burliner style ale with lactose. With lactose. Six percent. Oh yes. Same place as the uh Ology Brewing. Tallahassee Lord. The cake. Yeah, they had a big amount of of distillery um, liquor. That was just one of the cheaper ones. Tell me you don't like that. That's 
That's lactose, baby. I spilled it on myself. So, what are your complaints this week? <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> um, I do have one specific complaint. Yes. The Xbox um, showcase that they just did. Yes. Uh, there was a lot of talk of something Fallout, and there was nothing Fallout, so... Yes. But, I mean... Well, they just came up with some uh, a map update on 76. I know. I guess John, John Carpenter on Twitter said... Yeah. And I'm like, I thought you died. <laughs> but I love John Carpenter movies. I just thought you died. I'm going to have to... I guess I'm going to have to play 76 eventually. I, I... It's so slow. Of course... I, I just can't... I'm overweight on the game, you know? I put everything in my camp, and I still am overweight. I'm like, what am I carrying that's overweight? <laughs> well, yet I play Fallout 4, and i am got plenty of... I'm sure... <clears throat> I'm sure there's some sort of microtransaction you could pay for that would fix that. Yeah. So, you're liking the lactose there? Yeah, it's pretty good. Now, if you do go to Tallahassee's, there's three. There's three Ology Brewing. The one you want to go to is the North one. Okay. Because that has everything. The other two just have beer. And, of course, I went to, what was the other one? Waster City, which is usually out of Apalachicola. They have a Tallahassee. Enjoyed that one, too. But that was just beer, too. Yeah, the food at Ology Brewing was so good. We had, what, a pretzel? We had a flatbread. And they had like a, you had a, like lavender tea, and he had a homemade lemonade or some, I think. They do coffee. Yeah, they do their own coffee. They, they make their own lemonade. Damn. And they were hands on. They're a lot hands on, so they were really, really good. They had a lot of choices of beer. I like their, their, their choices. They did a lot of uh, sours, so you would like them. I think oh, yeah. I would like them. They weren't all IPA packed. They had IPAs, but there were more sours than IPA. Okay. Their sours though weren't like the Ghost. They were the Berliner Weiss, so it's a different type of you know. That was the first one that I found that was with lactose. That I got that was in the fridge that wasn't on draft. The draft was intolerant of the lactose. Yeah, but the Oyster City had one that was a, a sour, but they had a nitro on it. So it made it really interesting at Oyster City. Okay. That was pretty cool because it was right next to a pizza place called... What was it? They made the whole pizza place look like it had comic strip vibes. You know? Um, but, like, it was two doors down, and you could. we said we were going to be the brewery, and they said, well, we'll bring it to you. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Their pizza was good too. Oh yeah. I just got an email from them. Oh, you got an email from them? I didn't know you'd signed up. Something Street, Miles Gaines. Street, Gain Street. Gaines Pizza. So if you're in Tallahassee, there's a lot more to do than just proof brewing. Do I do enjoy proofs? Gain Street Pizza. Gain Street Pizza. Pie pies. Pie. Green Street Pies. And there's three locations. We did the one downtown. Yeah, we did the downtown right near Oyster yeah. City. <sighs> and they had another because there's there's uh, the the craft beer mark market in Tallahassee's grown because when I first went there was just proof brewing. Now they have the Ology Brewing. They had a the, a deep. Brewing that, which had one of their beers there at the Gain Street Pies, and I tried one of them. So, I think uh, anytime you go to a city, we like to go try their breweries. We look them up online and see how many there are, and try to get a couple of them in. You know, don't get to go on a cruise and drink their cruise beer. 
Which we decided we're not going to be doing for a while. Oh. It was a chunk. It was a chunk? It was a chunk. Um, no, the kids want to go, well, one of our children. And the other one doesn't get it. Wolf over. Creek? He No, they want to go see snow. So, oh. winter, we're probably going to go find somewhere. Miami. Miami is a good place for snow. <laughs> a little expensive. You might have to fight off the cops, like, you know, Don Johnson. I don't think that's going to go well. Tubbs and Crockett, you know, they're a little young to experience the true snow. Is that another Tig Notorio? Oh, well, okay. It says episode one, so I was a little confused. It was pretty entertaining. I like Tig. She's going to have to pick something else. I was uh, watching your favorite podcaster earlier. Which one? Uh, Joe Rogan. <laughs> um, he had... Did he have Terrence Howard on there? Yeah, so... Because did you hear the whole Terrence Howard going after Neil deGrasse? Have you seen Neil deGrasse? Tyson? Yes, his return. But I love that. I was yeah. like, thank you, Neil. Yeah. But no, he had on... Um, oh, what's the dude's name? He's from Impractical Jokers. Oh, well, one of them crazy guys? Yeah, he has... Uh, I haven't finished the episode yet. Uh, Sal Volcano. Okay. And apparently he's doing stand-up. Not Sal. And he was talking about how... Uh, he had a special they were recording for it and um the first show they were going to do the recording of he was uh feeling a little under the weather so a friend of his well he he went to the, the hospital they gave him a b12 shot he went back for the show and the guy that was producing it was like here take these pills they'll help you out or whatever so he took them they were blue i'm sure and he was like they were uh, uppers. They were some kind of like ADHD, ADHD medication. Oh, and they had like, like some two hundred milligrams of like caffeine in them, whatever. Oh lord! And the dude, I guess the guy's intention was here, take one now, take one later. But he didn't get that, so he took both of them at the same time. So he was like, he was like, I was so hyped up on the caffeine and the B twelve. He was like, that I was just like, you know, holding the mic. He goes. So, needless to say, we didn't record any of the first show. Uh. But, yeah, so... Yeah. Always check out your, your local breweries yes. and your breweries, period. And... Do we still have Kyle as a follower because he doesn't comment? Kyle's sad. I miss Kyle. He never drank with us. We'll have to... I don't think so, because he drove himself. We may have to go kidnap him one Saturday. It's not a kid, so do we man-nap him? Uh, man-nap. You really shouldn't plan illegal activities while you're recording. Legality. It's not illegal if he's into the bondage. He said yes. <laughs> It's Kyle. He said yes. It doesn't work well when you plan stuff ahead and you leave notes. They're not lawyers. They don't know. Yeah, you're not a legal professional. You get prison time for your whole life. Who do you think you are, Rudy Giuliani? He knows what I'm talking about. The lady deserved it. Deserves it too. Are you, is this 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 trial that's going on right now? The lady. Yeah, the lady, the guy. That's. She did some stuff at the boardwalk. No, obviously not why. Yeah, I have no idea. Our local boardwalk. Yes. Ooh. I did not know that. Four years ago. I had not heard this. <laughs> Okay. We'll 
Shame on you, Spencer. Shame, Shame on, on you, sir. Watched another Taking a Taro video over on Netflix. It was a pretty good, uh, because I was at, a little bit, I was like, this, this bit's getting a little old. The whole ending. Yeah. The Indigo Girls. And then it, and then it paid off and you're like, okay, all right. <laughs> So this one is one that is Aldi's or a local Aldi's. And I think you would appreciate this. is a nice simple lima vesa. Oh, that's four point five percent. It's very uh, very smooth. That would be interesting with uh, a salt rim. So you want a rim job too? <laughs> yes. That's asking a lot. Asking indeed. <laughs> dot com. Indeed dot com. anything else, else to say to our viewers our listeners our patrons I'm trying to think of uh, any movie or TV show news I've seen lately oh the director of Blade dropped out so that still sits in limbo yay <clears throat> they're like hey you know what we should do we should find a really decent actor for this this role, yeah, and offer him a lot of money. Yes, we'll hype up everybody. Yes, and then do nothing. Yes, that's one of the the games I want to get is the, what Midnight Suns. I think I've heard that's pretty decent, a lot better than the Avengers. I don't remember. Yeah, I want them to do another. Uh, you're you're playing any of the Ultimate Alliance games? No, I have not. Those are really cool because. Uh, you would start off with a set amount of heroes, and as you progress through, you would find other ones, and then you could rotate out your team, and you could have, you know, Wolverine, Blade, Mr. Fantastic, it was just a whole lineup, you know, Marvel Heroes or whatever. And I remember in particular, I can't remember which one it was I was playing, but one of them, you are, um, it's an X-Men villain. Mr. Sinister? No, he was the, the arcade guy. Oh, the one, um, starts with an M. I don't remember what I'm talking about. It, there's, a, there's a level where you go into his, like, lair. Yeah. And you're going through to get to him. And it was one of those, like, if you don't interact with everything around you, you miss out. Because there's a claw machine. And when you play it, blade's stuck in there. Mm. And it would pull him out, and then he could be part of your team. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah. I hear they're, they're, so I don't know how I feel about it, because we finally watched Fallout. Yes. Um, loved it. Yes. Um, but they are. But did she like it? She is, yeah, she, she liked it. I, so there was a little bit of time there where she was like, I don't know how I feel about this. And then when the ending came, she was like, that was it. That was the it? rest of it. I'm yeah. Addicted. Um, but they you know, are. It's funny when you get back to playing Fallout seventy six. Open your camp. Okay. Guess who is your new? Uh, you can. I don't know. I don't know how much far you got into Fallout seventy six, but like somehow, I when you open the camp, you can build a. I have one option that I can. You can have a bar that has a guy who sits there and talks to you. But it's kind of funny. Like they're not your companions, but they can talk to you. And so the new one is him, but it's not him. Because his name's Dell, but he looks just exactly like Maximus, and he carries the same big bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but his name's Dell. But they're uh, they're trying to get the second season out a lot quicker, and it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm excited because they're getting it out, but at the same time, I don't want them to. Yeah, I don't want them to. Push it out really quickly, and then you know it comes it's kinda, out crap. It's kind of go because you know Fallout Five will be out twenty thirty. Yeah, but they're trying to get out something in the meantime. Yeah, 
you know, and the and the rumors are that Obsidian's going to remake the original one or two, and so it's that, interesting to that see. That would be cool. I wouldn't mind because I've tried playing the original two Fallout's, and because they're like the top down, by yeah, isometric. like the original or Grand Theft Auto. If you played them, yeah. which were really bad, and but I just, supposedly the the original Fallout's actually had good storylines. Let's see what else. Yes. Yeah. There's not. There's not a lot. It's not a great week of. No. A lot. Yeah, I ain't got. I ain't got much. You ain't got Diddly Squad. Have you been watching any of the Doctor Who's on Disney? Not yet. I'm enjoying it. So there's a lot of complaints that they don't like it. It's too woke. It's wah, wah, wah. And I'm like, I enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't enjoy, I think it's episode two or three when they have like a music one. It's interesting because they bring in, like with a toy maker, when MPH was in the one that separated the doctor, they start bringing in different gods because toy maker was like a god. And so one of the episodes is with the music maestro which is a good episode until the last five minutes where it becomes a musical, which makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? It's like the story ends too soon. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we're going to sing for five minutes. And you're like, why? So there is an episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I don't know if you've watched any of that. Mm -mm. So it's a spinoff. Yeah, of, Anson Mount. Yeah. As Pike. And there is a, uh, there's an episode called, um, I think it's called Subspace Rhapsody. And it is an entirely musical episode. I don't mind musical episodes. And, well, so a lot of people like hate on it, but they set it up in a way where it's very Trek like. Like they end up transmitting music through a tear in subspace, and it causes everybody in the vicinity to sing what's on their mind. Yeah. And I really liked it, it was really cool. It's like Scrubs when the when the woman has a brain aneurysm and everyone seems to be singing to her. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> I don't mind singing episodes; it's ones that don't make sense. And it wasn't really singing; it was kind of like him dancing. It was like we have nothing else to fill out the five minutes. That's our guest star. That's Mr. Benjamin. <laughs> or Benjamin. Excuse me. He's like, I want to be on camera. Benjamin. How do you feel about the war in the Middle East right now? What are you and the club of Benjamins doing about that? <laughs> like we're trying to stay neutral. Uh, yeah, see, he knows. He's coming to me. <sighs> He's like, yeah, we're trying to stay neutral. The Benjamins, me and the Benjamins. So I did have a question for you, sir. Okay, I might have an answer for you. Um, as you know, or may not know, but I'm sure you know, in November. November of this year? Of this year. 2024. There's a very important vote happening, sir. This year? It's very, very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. The fate... Of a lot of people are at stake. Okay. They may legalize weed in our state for no recreational problem. use. DeSantis already said he doesn't want it. Well, DeSantis... He will do what he can to keep it... He tried to shut down Disney and failed, so... But... He didn't try to shut down Disney. Let's say... Let's say... There's too much money that Disney brings into Florida to shut it down. He tried to impose his will on Disney and didn't... How did he try to impose as well? Because they were in a uh, exclusive zone that didn't have to follow all of Florida laws. And he changed it and they're paying their taxes now. Well. So how did he fail? They're paying their taxes. He's an asshole. I don't is, like DeSantis. But if... But he it also passes. ran. He ran for president and then quickly dropped out mm -hmm. of it because they made fun of his heels and his shoes. Yeah. Um, anyways, if <laughs> if it passes, which I I firmly believe it will, well, regardless of what the government says or the government, well, government it's, says. it's just like it's like it's like Trump was just indicted on thirty four felonies, and two days before the Rep Republican National Committee, he will be sentenced. Two days. 
What do you think's going to happen? Nothing. And that's that's the joke thing. You think the Republicans could come out and be like, he's he's not our nominee. They're not going to do that. But see, the they whole thing, feel... the Demo- this is the whole thing. If they wanted to solve the problems, both, you know Biden is not there. Mentally, he is not there. Trump hasn't been there. I have speculation on that, too. But, but I think if they had balls, they're both going into their committees for the election before November, and they would be like, hey, neither one of them are representing us because they're not representing the people. We're going to put somebody else out. If they had balls, but they don't have balls. They're just, they're fucking ground suckers. They're a bunch of fucking catfish. They're a bunch of <laughs> shit lickers. So anyways. Okay. <laughs> What I was getting to was, okay. um, are we going to be, uh, okay. Benjamin is, oh. oh, trying to get to the nipple. Are we, uh. Feeling the teat? We going to have some, uh, edibles on our show? You can, I cannot. Well, oh, yeah. I'll be jealous. If they don't, no, they don't. Not unless they change the federal law, which we might change the county law. They don't check for that at my work, so... Well, they do at ours. Yeah. We get random ones. Um, yeah, it's so. great to be in a law office who doesn't test, <laughs> right? <laughs> that makes no sense. My my niece is in a law office that doesn't test. Yeah, I'm like, really? they didn't drug test me, honestly. Doctor's offices. Yeah, doctor's offices. So if you'd like my conspiracy theory of the week, sir. Yes, what's your conspiracy theory of the week? Um... So there's a little bit of speculation that Biden may step down on Wednesday. This Wednesday. This Wednesday. Okay, this is like Trump becoming president on Wednesday or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Well. He kept saying, this Wednesday, the truth will come out. Well, there's speculation he may step down this Wednesday, making Kamala Harris president. I don't care, huh? Okay, well. Some people get offended by that, but I honestly don't care because it's new blood as the president. She's a moron. Well, yeah, she... I'm not disagreeing, but it is new yes. moron blood. Yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're, I'm tired of the same old white yeah. moron blood. But, but who's really running here right now? Well, it's probably neither like one of them. Dr. Biden. Her. No, she's not running. Shh. Dr. Biden. Um, the only VP the only VP in power that ever had any play, and you can look it up historically. Well, well, yeah. Historically, the only VP who had any power was Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney came onto that position... And you can see that in the movie Vice. That's the only reason he came is if he was given more power than any other normal VP. But she's not... Our president is not mentally there. Oh, no. But, but but she's not running it. This is showing the shadow... This is purely showing the shadow democracy we have. He's not making the decisions and oh, she's not gosh. allowed to. Yeah. Oh, I, but he, here's, here's my conspiracy. Because if theory. she was running it, there would be a lot crazier things going on. Oh, yeah. Um, let's, he's let's not speculation is he he may be stepping down on Wednesday. What, this Wednesday. This Wednesday in June. Yes, after Father's Day. Yes. Yeah, Juneteenth. Um. Anyways. <laughs> hey. What? That would be a historic achievement, really. But that she will take. She'll she'll be president or whatever. Okay. My conspiracy theory is that he has stated he is not going to pardon his son because I feel like. Whoever is running his campaign is telling him that will torpedo his chances of becoming president because it'll be, you know, yeah. Oh no, pot calling the kettle black, you know. So he's gonna pardon Trump? You no, know, he's gonna pardon <laughs> his son, and then step down the next day. Okay. And he's not gonna run again, so it doesn't matter. Okay. That's my. Conspiracy I don't see theory. that happening. Well, it's but my conspiracy. I mean, a-, a number one, his son is not gonna be indicted in anything more than serious than than Trump is gonna be indicted. It's not going to be anything because guess what? Rich people get to get away with this. Shit. Oh yeah. Period. If you have over this amount, or if you're in this amount of connections, you get to do whatever you want. Yeah. Because you can't. Hold, everyone below this is who, who you held accountable. Because yeah. that's what that's what fills up the jails. You know. Um. Th- neither one of them. Just like when Trump said he was going to go after Hillary. He didn't, because he knew Hillary had so much dirt on him. It was, uh... 
a podcast again that I was watching that you're not a fan of. Um, <laughs> one of the things that they were talking about on there, and it wasn't was Sal. I can't remember who he was talking with, but um, he was saying that if you want to fix the prison overpopulation problem, the first thing that needs to be done is there needs to be they need to eradicate prison as a business. Oh yeah, the private whole, sector the whole prisons, private in, yeah. privatizing business. Well, the whole thing is bullcrap, and you can watch it anytime. When shows like Cops came out, or Blue Lights, or any of the, if people paid attention, you could see who they were trying to incarcerate. When you have the black community, who is I think twenty nine percent of the of of the population of America, and I think it's over eleven percent of the twenty nine percent is incarcerated where you look at the white community and it's a lot smaller and people want to sit there and say oh it's the way people raise that was bullshit because if you watch shows like cops uh. oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you see how they treat people and as a white american i can i can see how they you can have 12 people on a white person and they don't tackle them. They talk calmly to them. And they're like, sir, please put down the weapon. Please, sir. We'll walk around for 30 minutes in front of these cameras. And if there's a camera present in front of a black American, they treat them totally different. and Because it's like they don't care. And that's the way I personally see it. It's, it's a very racist society. To the cops. And I can see exactly, the, the older I get, how it is lopsided. Um, I have dealt with going through the court system before where I had to stand in front of a judge and with 93 other cases in front of me, I was the only person who, who wanted to take my right to go in front of the judge. And I don't think I saw one other white person in front of that judge that day out of the 93 other quick cases. And if that's not lopsided, I don't know what is. <laughs> And I live in a red state, in a red county. And if the Republicans want to be a party of the people, they need to stand up to people like Trump. They need to stand behind somebody who is a better leader. And they need to be better people. If you're going to sit there and say you're going to represent the church, like a lot of them, whatever, the, they've become the evangelical, then you need to live and you need to show that. And you need to be more caring and you need to be better. Because I just see a lot of petty bullshit. My personal opinion is that religion needs to stay out of it. Oh yeah, it That's does. That's just my opinion. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. Political parties. But you're seeing this whole thing yeah. and it's like... I, if you look back on history, when JFK ran for president, a lot of the reasons they didn't want John F. Kennedy to be president was because he was a Catholic. When Mitt Romney ran for president, they didn't want Mitt to be president because he was a Mormon. But it's perfectly okay for somebody to be a Baptist. And growing up in the South, I know, you probably know, the Baptists preach the hell and the brimstone and the fire and you're going to hell unless you do this. And really in politics, they shouldn't be in that. No matter what denomination you are, it should have nothing to do with your political party. I will say, I commented on this earlier, my wife, the only good thing so far, in my opinion, that I've seen out of this administration is they are trying to um, make it where medical debt cannot be put on your credit record whatsoever. Yeah. And... Cool, I like that. But I like that, but yeah, like you're saying, there's not a lot this administration no. has done, and I'm 100% behind you. Is they talk the talk like everybody does to get elected. Yep. We Every four years we have people talking this crap, and they don't do anything. You know? But. Anyways. 